that now I'm 16 and pregnant. I mean, at least that's what it feels like. No, I want to share my different experiences that people don't always talk about. Yo, I'm back! <laughs> For the thousandth time, I am back. Like, but I am back. Like, I am feeling so good about myself. I am in such a good place than I was a, a year ago. Like, last year was such a struggle for me. It, it wasn't even funny. I'm 39 weeks pregnant. I am 28 years old. But I swear, y'all, it feels like a teen pregnancy. Has anybody else felt like that? Who's like 28, 29, 30? Like, do y'all feel like y'all pregnancies are teen pregnancies? Or is it just me? So we are at the countdown, though, like literally. But everything's ready. Suitcase is in the car. Car seat is in my man's car. So when I call him, it's time to go to the hospital. We we ready to. It's time to go. I just wanted to come here and update you guys on my life. Because honestly, I've said it a thousand times. Oh, I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to be consistent. Oh, I'm sorry. I love And... I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to, you know, post every week and this is not going to happen again because I don't know. Life happens and it happens real fast. But what I can say is that I'm going to try my best. I want it to be different. I want us to learn from each other. You know, I want to share my different experiences that people don't always talk about, like, because we do go through things. A lot of times on social media, everything is like the glitz, the glam, the luxury, the beauty. And I'm still, still going to do the beauty part of it all. But real shit happens too. Like real shit happens too. Let's be for real. And people don't like to share that. They like to hide that part and be seen a certain way. And I'm not here for that. I'm here to show y'all. The good, the bad, when I'm going through it. So excited for this journey. And in my new mom era, we go. So if you're someone who loves that content, then this is going to be a place for you. And let's just get right into this update, y'all. Because it's already been two years. So let me not hold you up two more. My name is Courtney. And I am... Y'all, I'm, I don't know why I'm struggling. Like, I really don't know why I'm struggling. So, first thing is first. I am living in Atlanta. I live in Atlanta. I am originally from New York. You know one thing about a New Yorker. We're going to tell you we're from New York. Like, within the first five minutes of the conversation, if the person is from New York, we're going to somehow incorporate in there to let you know and establish that we are from New York. So I am from New York. I've lived in New York my whole entire life. I moved to Atlanta four years ago as of last month. Um, and I'm still here and I love it. And I don't really see myself leaving anytime soon. I am 39 weeks pregnant. I am at the end of the road. And I'll show y'all the bump. But I know he's coming and I know he's going to be healthy and I'm putting it out there in existence. So for any of you mommies that are due this month or due this year or the beginning of next year, 2025, that is crazy, 2025, I am wishing a safe delivery, safe birth, safe However, you decide that you want to deliver your baby, save everything to you and your baby and your partner. Life update, I work for Chanel. I am a makeup artist for Chanel and I love it. Like I love the company. I love working there. I love all of my AEs and the whole like corporate management team. Me working for Chanel. I literally doubted myself. Like, even in my interview, I realized that when I was like, when I was answering questions, I was doubting, I was letting them know that I doubt myself because I would say things like, oh, well, I, um, I remember in my interview process, 
I was like, oh, you know, I would love to work for Chanel. Chanel is a dream company to work for. However, you know, being a young woman of color, I never, it's always just been a dream. Not something that I ever seen to be obtainable. Because like, if you know, you know, a lot of times the face of Chanel, especially back in the day, was Caucasian woman. You didn't really see black women um, or women of color, or different ethnicities. But now they have brought in themselves and they have opened up divert with their diversity. And it's so much more diverse than it used to be. That if you are a woman of color, go to a Chanel counter. Go to the nearest Chanel boutique store, Chanel store that has like makeup and their beauty products. Or go to any retailer, Nordstrom, Saks, Neiman's, that's distribute Chanel. And you will find something for you. You will find, like, right now I have on this Chanel lip. I put a OG um, NYX lip liner and then I put this on top it is in the color 62 still and it's one of their lip blacks and when I tell you I love this stuff and it's not just because I work there but it's because I'm like oh wow they actually do have things that will fit me you know, what else has been going on in my life um last year I did suffer a miscarriage I feel like that's such a I don't know. It's way easier for me to talk about now, but if it was this time last year, I couldn't talk about it without crying. I could not talk about it without crying. But when I tell you God's timing is so perfect, and when I said God makes no mistakes, he makes no mistakes. Literally no mistakes. Um, I will say at the time, me and my boyfriend, we were newer in our relationship um so it was a lot that we still needed to learn about each other and you're still learning your partner there's never going to be a day whether you're married whether you're engaged whether you have five kids whether you have two kids one kid um whether you're 20 and now y'all 60 there's never going to be a time where you know everything about your partner where y'all are a thousand percent perfect because there's no such thing and that's something that we experienced last year and we both handled it handled it very differently he handled it in his way I handled it in mine and sometimes I felt like his way being that it didn't correlate with mine that he didn't really you know feel how I feel or it didn't affect him, shall I say, but it did affect him and it affected him in a way different way. And I just had to, you know, come to the realization that it does affect him, but he shows it very differently. And that's okay. Um, For me, it did put me in a little bit, not even a little bit, let me not even sugarcoat it. It did put me in a depression, a depressional state for a really, 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 really long time. Um, because something before that, that had transpired, made me feel like, dang, like, did I make the right decision, you know? And then having a miscarriage right after that, it was just like, something can be given and then taken right back away. You know, like, sometimes we want things and sometimes they, feel like they're this close in our face and sometimes God will snatch it away and be like no this is what you can have this is what you can obtain but I need you to do a few things I need you to go through a few things before I can actually give it to you um and then you realize it's on his time not your time even if it is in front of your face so now we are at that point and I'm so grateful to God. Um, I'm so excited to be a mom and to continue this journey. So be on the lookout because it's so much 
it's so much stuff it's so much videos like i'm going to literally document my child's life like my life too but like it's just a different era like i'm in my mama era but like i'm still gonna be me me you know i'm still gonna be me there are a few things that i do want to alter because it's like just my opinion I don't want to do any more like certain things I used to wear and things I used to do that I'm just like, mm -mm. it's not giving mom, you know, like, but I'm not going to lose myself in the mix, you know, like I'm still going to be Courtney, but stepping into a new, a new era and I'm going to be 29 at the end of the month. So happy birthday to me. And I'm just. I don't know, y'all. I'm just so excited. It seems like I'm very nervous because honestly, like, y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I just want one good night's rest. And my boyfriend was like, well, when he come, just pump, breastfeed. I will be there to be up with him. I want you to get some sleep, even though I know that's not going to happen because when, he wake, when the baby wakes up, I'm going to be up because I'm nosy and I can't help myself that is where we are y'all this is where we are and i'm so excited for the content that's to come i'm definitely gonna be doing like hauls of where i get baby clothes let me know what type of videos y'all want to see let me know you know as far as maybe what a shop for babies or um my labor how my pregnancy was um things you go through during pregnancy and what I experienced because everybody's experience is so different. So let me know in the comments the different type of videos that you guys would like to see from me. I'm still gonna incorporate my makeup and beauty and like get ready me, day life of mom, you know, like different things like that where I'm not completely going off sideways. Um, but now when you see me and I am vlogging, it'll be with a stroller. And I'll be with my friends who also have strollers, you know, because we're at that point in our life and we're at that time. And I'm going to try my best to not go off the grid. I am keeping that promise to myself and to y'all that I'm going to try to not go off the grid. If I had a dollar for every time I said, um, in this video, about a hundred dollars, right? Yeah, I think. I think so.